hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll be looking at how to install kali linux uh, version 2023 on our virtualbox we'll begin by going to uh, kali linux website and doing a download so i'm just gonna open my browser here google chrome browser and then i'm gonna search for kali linux download we'll go to the link that takes us to kali.org okay we'll go with this option right here so click on that you have the 64 bit so you want to download this so click on this to download and the download is in progress so i'm not gonna finish the download here because i already downloaded the file so i'm gonna x out the download and i'm gonna Go back to the virtual box. I'm gonna click on new. I'm gonna name this uh, Kali 2023. Here, I'm just gonna leave the installation folder as the default. I'm gonna, I'll select the ISO image later. So I'm gonna skip that. The type is going to be Linux um we'll go with the debian 64-bit click on next you can adjust your memory and cpu we'll go with two cpus the memory will leave it at the default you can increase it if you want and if you have more go to next disk size let's change this to 30 and then next uh, click on finish we'll go back to the settings uh, under settings we'll uh, under general we'll go to advanced share clipboard will enable bidirectional bidirectional also for drag and drop and that's that for that under system, we're not using a floppy, we'll move this down and uncheck that. A processor again, if you wanted to increase, you can increase it. And the memory also. Actually, let's just increase that to 4 gigs. Next thing we want to look at display. Again, you can make adjustments if you wanted. Storage, here we have to, it says empty, so you have to select your downloaded image or ISO file. Choose a file, and this is the file right here for Kali Linux 2023. So I click on open, and now it's attached. And I'll, I like to use bridged adapter so i change it for the network i'll use the bridged adapter and that's it for the settings so click ok and then we'll click on start that should start the uh, installation process so click on this window so we're getting an option to do a graphical install so we go with that here we'll select English, click on continue, uh, location, select your location, click on continue. Uh, same thing with the keyboard. So it's doing the installation. Okay, here it's asking us to, add, to enter the host name. Please enter the host name for this system. So. I'll, call, I'll leave it as Kali, continue. Domain, you can put whatever domain you want to put. Domain name, I'm putting in a .com. And then you have to put in a username that you use to log in. So after putting in your username, just click on continue and it should show that username again just click on continue again 
Now here you have to put in a password for that username. And then re-enter the password. Click on continue. Okay, here you have to select your region so that the clock can be set. And then we'll go with the default here for partitioning of the disks. Again, default, click continue. Here you can have your own partition on a, a separate partition, or you can have all your files on one partition. So I'm going with the default, click on continue, and then continue. Here it's asking if you want to write the changes to the disk, you want to say yes, and then click on continue. I will pause at this point. So at this point, you have to select the, the software. So we, we are seeing um, the software that we can select here. I'll go with the default, click on continue. I'll pause again. So the software installation process is still ongoing. This might take a, a while. So I'll, I'll keep this uh, paused. Okay, in this next window, it's asking to install the Grab Bootloader. So we'll go with a yes and click on continue. So here we'll select the disk, which will be this one. And click on continue. So it looks like it's finishing the installation. Again, I'm going to pause and come back once this part or this portion is done. Now we see on this window that uh, the installation is complete and we'll need to reboot by uh, choosing continue. And the device should reboot. So it's reloading. I'll come back once it's done rebooting here. Okay, and now we are at the login screen. So whatever username you set up, you'll need it to log in. And then you'll need your password as well. And there we are. We are logged into the uh, Kali Linux virtual machine 2023. So we'll do a quick check here of the version. So I'll do your name for all, and it's a 2023. That's the version we have. So that's, that completes the installation. That's how we install Kali Linux 2023 on our VirtualBox. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.